What is up, YouTube fam? Robbie C here. We are back with episode four of the T Box Thoughts on a Tuesday. I've really enjoyed making these videos, and I hope you guys are enjoying them as well. The heart of this series is keeping them short and sweet while still trying to give some valuable takeaways that you can start applying to your game. I just want to know what you guys are looking for, especially those of you who are tuning in each week for this series. So, with business out of the way, we're heading to a new course, and we're heading uphill this time on hole 14 over at George Ward Disc Golf Course. It's one of the oldest courses in the state of Alabama, and I'm pretty confident the U.S. as well. And it is a staple in the Birmingham disc golf community. So without further ado, let's head over to Old George Ward. We are back with another edition of Audio Struggles by Robbie C. Disc Golf. We are here on hole 14 at George Ward, and it is an uphill doozy. Coming in at 267 feet, there is a mandatory that is on the right side of the fairway, so you have to lean left. That first blue basket you see is not the one we're playing to, but it is incredibly uphill, playing much more like 320, 350. The question is, what are we throwing on this hole? Our first option is a classic, the Dynamic Discs Bounty. This understable mid-range has been a workhorse for us, and when you're throwing uphill, it's especially important to remember that understable discs are going to help you a lot. Overstable discs want to get to the ground as fast as possible, and when you're throwing uphill, ground just comes into play faster. Now, I can throw a bounty pretty far, but at 320 feet of about actual distance, the bounty's gonna be asking a lot to get it all the way there. And so, I'm just not able to pump it far enough, so I'm gonna have to step up to something a little farther. On the other end of the scale, I could throw a distance driver like this understable wraith and try to just pop it all the way there, knowing that I can throw it a little softer because it's a distance driver and I may not need all of that distance. But when I have a mando to avoid on the right side, throwing discs either too hard or too soft could make them fly not as I want to. And if I miss the mando, it is impossible to get a par on this hole because it's so far away from the basket and you have the opportunity to lose your disc because of this rough over here. So yes, throwing a distance driver could get me all the way to the basket, especially if I throw it extremely well. However, on these uphill hard holes, I'm just looking for control. And if I can't control the disc, I also have the opportunity to maybe turn it over and that's right, smack a tree and be way further back. So I'm going to move to a fairway driver because I still want that distance, but I also want the control. If you're looking for long distance, but you haven't tried out a solid nine speed fairway driver yet, you should definitely check one out. They are amazing. My go-to understable fairway driver is the hatchet. I love throwing understable nine speeds on huge uphill holes, even if they're super far. I'm just gonna try to hyzer flip this thing casually up the hill, and I know that I'm not worried about necessarily turning it over way too much because the hill's going to come into play and hopefully keep it from turning all the way over. Easier said than done and unfortunately I do turn it over a little bit but not as far as it could have gone thankfully because it went uphill. So I'm just telling myself that here instead of throwing it smooth and easy I tried to blast it because I honestly had just seen me throw that wraith and get near the basket so definitely threw it too hard rather than throwing it smooth and letting the disc do the work but thankfully we still have a putt so let's see if we can bang this one in for a birdie on a really hard hole a thing to note here is that if you don't practice your off stance if you're a straddle putter practicing that staggered stance or vice versa it definitely helps you out in the long run that tree was in my way for my normal staggered stance so i'm gonna have to go to a straddle here it's an uphill putt with a hill behind it, so I've got a pretty safe run at the basket. I just need to make sure that I commit and keep it flat so that it doesn't fall onto an edge and roll away. Keep it flat and give it enough height. That's all I'm telling myself on this putt. The birdie doesn't matter because it's a really hard hole and I didn't walk in thinking I was going to get one anyways. I just wanted to throw a nice safe shot, get up there, and have a decent look at the birdie. No harm, no foul. Remember, enough height, keep it flat. That's all we're looking for. I gave it enough height, but I didn't commit and give it enough distance either. I was just giving it enough power to get to the basket, but not through the basket, which is something we're gonna talk about in the next video I have. I'm super content with a par on this hole any day of the week. With all that said, let's send it back to future Robbie and some solid audio to close things out. It's just so far. 
up that hill. I don't know about you guys, but playing uphill can feel rather daunting at times, which takes us to our takeaway for today. When you find yourself playing an already difficult hole, don't make it any harder. To get as much distance as possible, we end up disking up and trying to rip something way harder than we actually need to, to still get the same result. I'm not out here to tell you it's impossible to get a two on this hole. This massively uphill shot isn't necessarily normal, and I know it's gonna take a ton of mental stamina to overcome playing this hole poorly. So it's totally okay to walk into a hard hole or a weird shot and just tell yourself, you know what, I'm totally fine taking a par here. As always, if you enjoyed any of the discs I threw in that video, head over to otbdisc.com and check them out. And be sure to use the code RCDiscGolf to save yourself on some free shipping. So thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you have an amazing week. But for now, I'm gonna leave you with the birdie.